The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 933, Tuesdays. We've been talking professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social medias. And with me on the line is the Riz. No nickname at all, Sorg? No, I don't like, have a nickname Sorg? for you. Yeah, that's kind of... The Riz? The Riz? I mean, you're already a Riz. Yeah, it's, it's I'm getting messed with because I just uh, caught up with uh, the light, latest season of Halo. Mm-hmm. And I believe one of the one of the Spartans is named Riz. I'm... I'm that is true. Yes. That's yes. I, I religiously play the game and read the books and everything. They're That's right. You you know the lore. I'm, I'm is, adjacent to. I played true. all the games, but I'm still don't know anybody else's name. Look, that is Christian Holmes. Noir. That is me. The uh and you, and, and, and and as far as the geek cred, uh, formerly uh, uh we we you were the Swole Mandalorian on the show oh, several sure. years ago. Remember those days? Oh yeah, when I was uh slutting out on the internet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The uh the Mandalorian uh, thirst traps we were talking about. Yeah, back when I had no self respect and I was a uh, slanging wiener on uh, tech- <laughs> on TikTok. Well, you know what? The only uh, you just heard about somebody who who made like uh, several million dollars from OnlyFans and is retiring. So you know, there's an opportunity there. There is. I mean, but it kills me. It's an oversaturated market. Like I, yeah. I could get into the whole for thing. for for Mando for Mando uh, uh, cosplay situation. I feel like there's always more that want that. There is, but what kills me, like I said, it's uh. There's only but so much wiener you can show before it kind of gets boring. Okay, okay. I don't. It, 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 maybe you need to diverge into feet. Yeah, you're right. Feet. Spread my butt cheeks. Well, you know, and that's exactly. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Tina, to the chat. By the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a wonderful timing as always. Uh, no, you know, hey, we held <laughs> hold in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> hola, hola, I'm sorry I misread it. <laughs> you said hola? Uh, I hola, hola, hola. You, hola. Oh, sorry, you got oh. nasty. I was going to say, you said whole sword? No, that's you, Riz. Uh, anyways, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, no, you know, we, we run into each other the last two weeks, and I realize we haven't bullshit here for so long, and I'm like, hey, come on, it's spooky season as it is. Yeah. I knew you'd come in costume, oh, slash absolutely. yourself. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, no other way I could be. I can't let people see my real face. So. No, exactly. So. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's not the weirdest thing around here in this neighborhood. That's for sure. It was like, hey, you're early for Day of the Dead. <laughs> hey, the Hispanics across the street love me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just look, I'm like, hola, senor. But like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, I'm part Cuban. I can get away with this. Joke. There you go. Absolutely. So, um, But anyways, hey, the Latin assassins from this neighborhood. Uh, hey. operated in this at labor. I think it may still be that. I don't know. Last I knew he was at the barbershop down the street. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, it's the wrestling mayhem show. We're going to talk some sort of wrestling. I don't know, man. It's, it's, I'm coming off like a week of being sick and, and, and everything. So we're just kind of rolling with things right now. I did watch way too much wrestling and the fog over the weekend. And um and and Halloween Havoc, which is one of the favorite uh, pay per view concepts, I think it's the first time it hasn't been like a, a a special for NXT during the week. And I guess we're not doing that on the CW anymore. Um, so they actually had a proper PLE. I love the idea, by the way. And I wish I would have thought about this earlier for planning process because they had they had uh, uh, NXT's Halloween Havoc and Raw at Hershey uh, over the last mm-hmm. couple of days. And the idea of, of being able to go to Hershey, go to like, looks like they have some kind of Halloween nights at Hershey Park, and then like go to two night, nights of wrestling in Hershey, like, like, what is that, three hours away from where we are right now? Just about. Like, yeah. that sounds like a good weekend for a fan. Oh, <laughs> Actually, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right? So, I mean, I feel like we had a missed opportunity there uh, as, as fans that go do that. Um, but but I loved, I, I, I just appreciated it so much because, you know, WWE always has to do this walk-in. Everybody's walking with their bags in the parking lot and everything, right? Yeah. They did it for Halloween Havoc. But they did it, like, in that 
and, and for anyway has been to Hershey, like there's the park and there's the chocolate land where you have the ride with the singing cows. And then like the, 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 you know, and there's a stadium there and I, I filmed some, some high school championship football there ages ago, which, so that's all right there. The stadium is actually a way across the mm-hmm. parking lot, but you're seeing Ethan page and they're seeing these other people walk across in front of like walking out of chocolate land and all this stuff with their bags. Like, like that's not the train station guys. <laughs> um, and it's like, so did they just like go to chocolate land with their suitcase and now they have to walk across the parking lot. That doesn't seem very sound here. Right. Um, so I, I love, they kind of played with that a little bit. So I had a little bit of fun. Haven't visited there recently. <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, but, uh, but, but no, I, you know, Halloween Havoc's one of the favorites, but I felt like it was really missing. Like what Gigi Dolan was like the vid- pre video host. Like there was, there was no like show host, like there's been in the past, like shots. He's been a part of it the last several years. And I thought it was really kind of made something like that. And I, and I, I feel like there was just a touch that was missing. And they spun the wheel over the, several weeks leading up to the show. Um, and everything like, like it, it, it just felt like it was missing to some extent there being a bigger production like this. Yeah, it definitely felt like because normally it's either I'll watch it or if I don't watch it, I'll come back and get like get and like you know watch it later on. Mm. But like, I just didn't feel the need to like. I mean, I caught the big, a big chunk of the highlights, but like, I just didn't feel that need where I was like, oh, I should definitely like go out my way and watch this. I'm not, and that's not like a detriment to the show, but like you said, it feels like it's um, it follows the same stuff every year, every year without really changing anything mm-hmm. or adding anything. So it's like. Huh. It was like, oh, just another another Halloween Havoc and just keep it chugging. Th- it was weird that Raw didn't have any Halloween features this year or anything like that. You know, it, 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 I think I, that was more like the Vince era. It was all like that. Maybe that was. Yeah. Like, I felt like we should do a holiday trick or treat episode or something, right? Nothing was landing on Halloween. It, I think they had a casket match for the women uh, to start off NXT. So it felt like Halloween Havoc kind of extended until Tuesday this year yeah. <laughs> for, the, for them. Um, and and it and it's just like you know I, I appreciate they have it I appreciate they're keeping the theme they're keeping the spirit I think New Mercy might be coming back again you know I like that they're bringing these old brands back and for NXT to kind of like play with a little bit right yeah um but uh, but yeah right it, it was kind of like I forgot about it I went and watched Venom which I enjoyed um probably more than the re- than the pay per view honestly um so and like the next day i'm like oh no there was a show last night <laughs> i watched that last night instead of raw um a nice a breezy two hour and 18 minute show by the way so mm-hmm. it wasn't like it was a big dedication to anything like that which has been nice to see too yeah so um uh, Riz, like, did anything what, what stuck out for you there for for uh the halloween havocs um i did enjoy like one weird like match and that was the ambulance match between uh, Holland and Chase. Mm-hmm. Like that, that was fun because I, I didn't really think Andre Chase is a like his, his gimmick is great. Mm-hmm. Like the 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 teacher gimmick thing yeah. Yeah. is I love it, but like I wouldn't think he would stand a chance against Rich Holland. But it was it was it was really good. Um, now. They're setting up something between Ridge Holland and um, a returning legend mm-hmm. of Bubba Ray Dudley, mm-hmm. uh, which is a weird kind of mix. But, you know, I, which is we'll a I mean, I smell again, not seeing NXT tonight. I smell them setting up a tag team match mm-hmm. uh, for the ECW arena show next Wednesday. Which they are stacking up uh, against AEW good, Dynamite. That is also in Philadelphia on the same night. Oh, and they're going to be at the, I believe it's the Lacornia Center, Lacornia Center, um, on one of the campus. I think it's Temple University uh, on the, on the north side of Philly, and that's where the Ring of Honor pay per view was, uh, SuperCard of Honor WrestleMania weekend. So, um, I and, and you know it's it's a bigger venue and everything like that. So. You know, I don't, you know, you're only, you're only going to put like a thousand people into ECW arena. And mm-hmm. I don't know how much of a chunk that takes out of AEW at that point. So, but I would say like, if you do get a thousand people in there, mm-hmm. standing room and if it could That's bring, true. but if it could bring that energy, mm-hmm. like 
you're never going to match old school ECW. No, like, no, 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 no. And not with this crop of NXT guys or anything like that. Oh, absolutely. But, yeah, yeah. But but you're bringing in Bubba. You're probably bringing in whatever. You know, Rob VD probably going to show up. Yeah, Van uh, oh, Dam's going to be there. Yeah, he's on a Legends contract at this point, right? So, oh, yeah. uh, I mean, I mean, just any of that's going to bring people in from like the tri-state area, <laughs> you know, for oh, yeah. sure. And if not, the Philly fans will just uh, show up just to boo the show. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Like You'll just you, see a bunch of people just leave. Yeah. To yeah. Go to the other show. <laughs> you know, who knows at that point, right? I mean, what do you do if at that point, if like you just have like a bunch of people just like leave and like mm, yeah. half the odd, and it's like not even like, and it's hard camp side. And like, what do you do? <laughs> I want to see what they do there because, um, you know, I've been at ECW Arena a couple of times and they have their own, like all those video screens and stuff, that's all in house. So do they just use that, or they're going to bring their own? Like I, I'm, I was trying to rack my brain on whether WWE's ever done a show from that arena. I think when they did New ECW, they did some house shows from there, but I don't know that they ever broadcast from the from the venue. If any of our trusty researchers are out there in the chat room here live here on Tuesday night, please let us know if you can find any, anything uh, uh, from that. But yeah, I, I I'm trying to like I remember they did a house show in um, Washover Ice Gardens here in town. Uh, back in the day and I heard how, how poorly organized that was and everything and, and, and people sneaking in and stuff like that pretty easily so you know that it, it, you know obviously this is a where it's Philadelphia we can do this kind of thing and we're on a Wednesday night anyways so why not make this more interesting so I, I you know people are like oh WWE is really kind of poking the bear you know it really kind of like you know you know, throwing throwing shade at AEW all the time. Supposedly they're putting out these fake ratings and whatever. That's a little shady, but like, hey, let's do like an ECW show in the same night in the same town. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I find this exciting. This is competition at this point, right? Oh, for sure, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. And I think I think it's great because like, you know, now WWE has something to compete against. Mm-hmm. I mean, even though sometimes they won't, some people say they don't recognize them as competition, but at this point. You kind of got to mm-hmm. like you yeah. have no choice in this. You have to acknowledge them at some point, right? Yeah. And, and 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 it could be, it could be friendly competition. It is still something that is going to draw fans. It's still competition for fans. It's still fighting for fans. Obviously, you're the big one. You're the you know in this and and the poke is some of this. You do seem like the bully, but this is just kind of how wrestling goes. You know, these guys aren't gonna. They're competitors. They're, they're like it's, it's like you're, you're not gonna see Pepsi and Coke shaking hands. Oh yeah, never. Yeah. No. So I think it's crazy. I think one of the things too, like when AEW first started coming around, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, AEW was throwing, so, like WWE just let it be, but AEW just kept throwing shot after shot after oh, shot yeah. after mm-hmm. shot. And WWE just like, look, I'm not, we're not going to say anything back, whatever. Yeah. And then AEW kept going, and then WWE throws a shot back, and now it was like, oh, oh, do you believe they're talking about us? It's like, mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. you guys initiated it. Yeah. And now that you're mm-hmm. dealing with can't like, take it, you can't take it now that like they have some ammunition and they're doing like the best business ever in their history. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, a, a, and, and we can acknowledge WWE is better because AEW exists. But I, I think a lot of what we see now, uh, other than the shakeups, but like, you know, I think there's a lot of vibes. I don't think you see Motor City Machine Guns in the vein that they that we have in those last two weeks without yeah. AEW being a thing and there being competition for high level talent like that. Oh, right. absolutely. The, the TNA thing doesn't happen no, if, no, if no, AEW no. did it first. No. At all. Uh, or, yeah, go ahead. I will say a, um, the TNA WWE relationship is way better than the uh, yes. AEW TNA relationship. Yeah, I heard there was, I, and I keep hearing about like, you know, we, we always heard things about like maybe NWA and AEW were tough partners because they, they, they had a lot of ladies come in for the Empower show in one year. Um, you know, you had NWA uh, champions that were popping up on AEW early on. AAA was in a relationship. Now it's CMLL and AAA is uh, in league with TNA. Um, New Japan's always been a constant thing um, with with AEW, pretty much since the inception, I think. Right? Yeah. Um. So there's a lot of this cross thing. So there, there's like these these um, um allied partners kind of kind of aligning a, a here amongst the, across these countries these companies which is really interesting to see um but again if that brings up like hearing michael cole talk about the impact tna tag team championship every week is great you know and, oh, and just again this elevates it like tna is not competition but tna is a great feeder 
And I think that's right. it, you know, like like that that's where WWE's at with stuff. They're looking for just like where's the next where are the next people coming from? Because that performance center kind of had a couple rough years. It does. Mm-hmm. And like nothing against the performance center, but like <clears throat> you're you're bringing guy people in from like college and all that. Mm-hmm. College athletes and these are guys who probably don't know a lick about wrestling and just told that oh just come wrestle and they, and they get into it you know now they're on tv and whatever versus like you could get guys who are on the indies have a mm-hmm. understanding a love a passion for this because even i'm told down there it's just like it's just like the indies down there yeah it's like it's like yeah but uh, because even now with the WWE, because I'm pretty sure you heard about the new ID thing. They got. Mm-hmm. Yes, I want to touch that here in a moment here, uh, uh, of course. But first, let's give a quick shout out to our friends that are supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, and everybody that does uh, uh, put in a couple of shekels for us to keep the show going here from month to month, including our friends at the uh, fan show level. Bo Diggity! Ooh, as well as Team Hammer Fist. Hammer Fist, I'm coming your way this weekend. Let's have a message about that. Uh, and uh, Tupac Family, as well as Bubba Brewer of the great APWF and the Triple B Podcast Experience. Uh, Bubba, when am I getting on your show? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Jason French at the Poppy Club Bubba. Poppy Club level, Dave Prop Pop Ponner and Ratson and Trench Coat Tony Kincaid, and at the Pizza Club level, the Riz, as well as at the Manager level, Bradley. You Keep it back up. Keep it back up, sir. What? Keep it back up. What, what, Keep it back what? up. Keep it back. Up. There we yeah. go. Bradley. Oh, I have one for Bradley. Bradley too. Hold on a second. I got one to show you oh. for Bradley. Bradley. Oh. Bradley is so persistent in my life, uh, uh, Riz, that um, mm-hmm. I was uh, I was doing some stuff, playing with my phone, doing some stuff for. Um, uh, doing some stuff for for kind of awesome casts and stuff like that, and uh, uh-huh. and, and and you know I, I update my phone and it says I shouldn't know, really be I, I, I shouldn't be blocking this logo right here. I just want to point that out there. Which logo right there? Oh, BCW, that one right there. The, um, our our logo, sir. Oh no, where is it at? Now I can't get it to come up. <laughs> <laughs> there is a thing. Oh no, I took a picture of it. That's right. Uh, though there's a thing on the new Apple where they on uh, the new iPhone where it'll suggest pictures for you mm-hmm. um, to to uh, have for your your you know from your screen and everything like that. One, I don't know uh, why I have this picture, but apparently Bradley wants to be part of my home page. Uh, <laughs> look at that picture of Bradley. The, what is that picture? I, I, it's, it's all business, Bradley. And there's Jim from Fishing Without Bait. Uh, a few of the wrestlers you may know have been part you of You should use that sort. Uh, but yeah, that should just be the... Uh, that That's going to be Bradley's picture from now on. Look at that wonderful cutout and a black and white thing going on Wait, there. Wait, you don't like this picture of Bradley sort? Hold on, hold on. What, what? Oh, that one there? Oh, what? You don't like this one here? Well, that's okay. Riz, you also made the cut. Um, I didn't make it. Oh, God. We yeah. have a couple right here. Hold on. Here you go. There you are. I don't know what you're pointing at here. There's oh, no. That was... Um... Shoot. What was that? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and then Katie's in there too for some reason. I was doing like a screen cut uh, kind of situation. So that was my uh, 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 awesome cast crossover for you guys. Hey, you guys can show the sh- share the show. You guys can support the show and maybe be part of my wall. Again, the, for all this shot at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. This right. shot just looks like Bradley's having a good having a rough time over here yeah yeah or the best time i or the know, best time i, I mean it judge. could be i'm not gonna judge, I'm gonna judge I, oh, i'll judge right. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll judge anybody negatively no problem <laughs> without a second thought nope yep that's why you're here <laughs> so you mentioned yep. there's a new initiative with wwe it was announced today yes as the new what was it the id program independent yes. development program yes i woke up and I just saw it on my Facebook feed for a second. Then I was like, I'll deal with this later and went right back to sleep, <laughs> wake up and saw it again. I was like, okay, maybe I should actually read what this has to say because people won't stop sharing it. And if I see it on my feed one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so apparently WWE has an app that independent wrestlers can sign up on. And I'm, I'm trying to paraphrase because like I said, I was half asleep reading this here, thing. We'll pull it up. Yeah. Well, independent wrestlers can sign up, 
and it's, it's weird. I, th I think they say what it's like an NIL deal where they can like support you, give you money for stuff. Yeah, I saw like there you could get yeah, like funding or something like that. Yep, for your part of this. Yep, you get you get for funding. prospects and wrestling schools. Yeah. Which is, yep. So I mean, so they, they they're starting with partners, and and if you look at the list, it, it makes sense. Cody Rhodes, Nat Nightmare Fa uh, Factory, um, uh, uh, Seth Rollins, Bra Black and the Brave uh school which by the way like I, I walked past it it already has a performance center ring so having a wwe logo i don't know how much that that helps with it uh let's see booker t's reality of wrestling so you're yeah. noticing a trend here uh you have uh nox pro which is rikishi's promotion out in uh we actually mm -hmm. got to see some some of that uh, when we were uh, traveling a, a couple years ago and uh oh, was it elite pro wrestling up in uh, concord new hampshire mm -hmm. um that was the only one that confused me i looked it up i didn't see any direct wwe um connections but but upon, i see that at least one of the trainers had connections with like dragon gate evolve which has been purchased with you know, Gabe Sapolsky being part of Gabe, the movie and everything yeah. like that now. So that kind of makes sense. It seems like it's it, it's still in the loop, yep. you know. So I, I think this is like if, if, you know, people are like, oh, is my local wrestling? Per like, I, I've already seen conversation. Oh, I don't, I don't know if our local so-and-so is going to be a part of this. And I'm just like, I don't I like I feel like it's only going to be certain places. Yeah. Vetted people. I, you know, you could see the Dudley Boys school becoming part of this. Maybe maybe Kurt Hawkins, uh, creative wrestler, could be part of this eventually as a guy that, you know, and, and honestly, like all these guys already are part of the funnel because they're like, hey, bring my person in here. You know, you don't think Booker T saying here, sign this guy, you know, and, and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Like they all have an in already. They're just kind of more um, officializing that relationship, it feels. Yeah, because now it looks like kind of like how NCAA has their kind of stats up mm -hmm. with like the players. Because now when I was reading, it was like, you can keep track because even fans can download it mm -hmm. to keep track of like your end your favorite independent wrestlers and i guess independent people wrestlers can like get like you know they'll give them like hey here's this seminar or hey here's this mm -hmm. trial or hey here's this workout or hey we're going to give you an offer to go to this school for like x amount of months or x amount of weeks and all that stuff and like and i guess like depending on like your progress within it you, I guess, move up. If I was reading it right, you move up tiers in a sense, mm -hmm. and it kind of keeps track of you like that. Like it's like this is a lower person, higher, 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 higher person. Mm -hmm. So it kind of, kind of like gives you like a, a tracker of like, okay, independent. Here's your ni, like kind of here's your nil deal. Here's camps and all that stuff you can go to. Because like I'm seeing all over my feed before I read it, everyone's like, everyone should be signed up for this. Everyone should be signed up, you know. Because like you know, I'm reading. It, I'm like, okay, let me actually. Because you know, you're going to have ten thousand wrestlers telling everyone, yeah, yeah, you need yeah. To sign up for it. And mm -hmm. it's like, let me actually read before, you know, people download it. Like, read it before you download. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it, it, and 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 the, the part about the app and the and the sign up and everything, I, I actually hadn't read that far into it. And the first person I saw this from was. Raquel, Ricardo Rodriguez, a former WWE guy who has a school, I believe, out in Lancaster, if I'm not mistaken. They, and they're actually doing a show here in January um, with his promotion um, that escapes my brain in the moment. Um, but yeah, it's talking about this. It's talking about how, um, you know, you say NIL deals and things like that. Um, existing talent at select institutions with enhanced development, developmental opportunities. I think you'll start seeing faces from these schools that are not officially kind of like how you will randomly see people from CMLL and things in AEW. Like we just saw like, uh, uh, Viva Van from, from new Japan and CMLL pop up against, um, uh, Anna J on collision, for instance. Right. Yep. I, I think you'll see, Hey, here's so-and-so coming up from maybe we'll see promise Braxton from reality or wrestling popping up that we both know. I swear you know? that woman should be signed by now. She is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all too good. I mean, I'm not saying that just cause she's my friend, but my I, God, I saw her for the first time in a while doing Ashe over the summer and my God, light years beyond last time I saw her. It's amazing what she's been doing. And, and again, you know, it, it, it's one thing seeing them in the feed and what's going on, but like seeing them perform in person is just a whole other, whole oh, other yeah. thing. Yeah. Cause her a couple months back, her and Gigi came back from uh, Japan. Mm -hmm. They did, they did a Japanese tour. No, they brought, she brought back so much knowledge and now she's a different mindset on, like wrestling in a good mindset don't get me wrong but you know now she's seen how it is overseas it's that 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 everything clicked right every, it's yep. that thing like every, I, I think every wrestler gets to that point where it just like everything falls into the place and they, they, yeah. what do they say they, they've um they've evolved they've developed they've you know everything's settled into what what the the true form if you will absolutely like i'm like i said i'm not saying that because she's my friend like my best she's my best friend in the world like but 
promised Braxton. She needs, the world needs to see her. Mm-hmm. The world needs to give her a chance. Because I guarantee one match, I would put my soul on the line. If you put her in a WWE ring with any woman, that's going to be a fantastic match. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking more into this. Um, let's see if there's anything else that that um, <laughs> that that's going into this process from the press release here from what I saw. Because um, the biggest thing, like my big takeaways, was looking at those promotions that are a part of this and everything like that. I mean, that's still going to be, and we we were talking about like, you know, that that whole performance center can only do so much. It's one way to do things. Yeah. Uh, allegedly, that might be moving to Vegas. Um, you know, as part of the TKO deal and everything like that, which means you ready for more NXT at the Sphere? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, don't tell me that's not freaking happening at some point. Oh, without a doubt. I think it's I think it's Mania weekend. We're going to see it's something Mania. at the Sphere, right? Mania. SmackDown at the Sphere. We're going to see and maybe an NXT at the Sphere. Like something is happening. Mania. I cannot sphere. imagine one dead man show at the sphere. I don't know. Um, uh, uh, yeah, there's that too. Uh, just bring back the Thunderdome in the, in the sphere. Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. Could you imagine if they had the sphere in the Thunderdome days? Jeez. Mm. Um, maybe WCW went out of business. <laughs> <laughs> if they had the sphere to fuck with? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. They would, they would just put NWO right on the outside and never mind. It would just go yeah. right back down the drain. Uh, again, from the official line, uh, the Bellman ter- journey uh, providing financial opportunity and assisting with training, mentorship, and development, including access to world class facilities, best in class ring training. I think just everybody gets like a uh, Planet Fitness Pass to the Performance Center. <laughs> Right. That's what it feels like. What's that is? That's what it feels like. Yeah, it's just like like, like hey, everybody. If you're on a like how many wrong, people if you're like, T approved and got the stamp, and you you want to uh, uh, everybody gets in a car to Orlando and and can have a, a camp weekend or something mm-hmm. with uh, right. yep. with the trainers and facilities there. You know, it makes a lot of sense, right? Yep. Like yeah. how many how many people are going to be in, like in there? Is this going to be like? An open door policy, or is it just going to be? I think there might be like, a separate line, but you get yeah, there's gonna be a, yeah, it's going to be a separate thing. Like, like it's going to be like, um, hey, Reality Pros guys are coming up this weekend. You know, clean your lockers. <laughs> you yeah, know, but, but you know, whatever. someone's going to. I hope no one does, but I hope someone's going to jack it up because someone's <laughs> going to take a picture with everything in sight and they'll be like, WWE's looking at me. Da 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 da. da. I'm going to mm-hmm. sign and. Uh, and W's gonna be like, bro, we invited you up. You need to relax. I think that doesn't already happen with like the 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 training camps and everything like that. Wasn't there just a training camp? I I saw some people were hitting up, had an opportunity, and like there's a tryout day that was happening or something, right? I think so. so yeah. Which I felt like they haven't had one of those for a while at this point. So yeah, uh, I think that's when they do all their like tour, like when they do like their big tours. They do like that big mm-hmm. like tryout and all mm-hmm. that. I remember them having signups for it when uh, the last time we were there for NXT at the Arnold, mm. they were doing they they had a tryout table for for people, and I think I think like before or after like the event that they held, like they 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 did a try an in ring tryout with a lot of people at the Arnold. So, um, you know, and hey, you want to look for pe- for people with the look is the Arnold, right? That <laughs> so is that you is You want true. that WWE look? I mean, they're all working on it basically. Absolutely. So, um, but yeah, it's interesting and it's good to see they're making a variety of this thing, you know. Um, but uh, can I stay on TKO for a moment? Because I feel like this needs to be part of this now. Uh, TKO, uh, of course, owns both WWE and UFC. Also looking to take the national touring bull riding competition. Oh, yeah. And absorbing them pending approval. <laughs> uh, so are you ready for the crossovers now, guys? Bull riding. Hey, where's Cowpoke when you need it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cowpoke is ready made for this entire thing now, right? So, um, well, yeah. That's, uh, you know, I've actually never been on the WWE recruiting page. Uh, it's about the... Well, okay, now it's just... The, oh, we're going to get a takedown because it's completely footage. Uh, but <laughs> performance center thing. Like, there's a pretty hot performance center website they got put together here, so... You know, I, I mean, you're seeing that spread out. Obviously, I think there's there's some uh, they're they're having some kind of satellite performance center. I thought as part of all that stuff they're putting in Saudi Arabia. You know, for years they've been talking about doing doing the versions of this. So, you know, maybe in the UK and things, which I think got put on hold for a lot of reasons, including COVID, probably. Yeah. Um, like they've always talked about, hey, we're gonna have one in China, we're gonna have one in Japan, we're gonna have, you know this kind of thing like that 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 full expansion. So, yeah. but um, but yeah, we'll see what develops out of it. I think it's a uh, or it, you know maybe something became untenable when they just determined. Uh, how the UK one went, for all we know. Yeah, yeah. I think that, I think some 
Someone told me that they would bring it back like kind of after COVID because mm-hmm. COVID, no, COVID played like a hole in everything. Oh, absolutely. But I get, but I think like you want to say you got everyone, the, all the ones they wanted over to. The they did Europe. kind mm-hmm. of fleece the entire European market then. <laughs> they did. They fleeced the entire UK. And eh, so look, it is what it is. They got yeah, their yeah. people and they're just like, okay, we'll bring it back eventually. But they're going to. I can't get mad at that because anytime you, you take um, a lot of the talent out of the room. You know, AEW snatched up how much independent talent. Now look at who's rising up. You know, yeah. like you're. I think there's a lot of opportunity there. You know, even what's happening with say an NWA and seeing the faces that are getting opportunities there, be it the you know a PB or Spencer Slater or all those guys, right? Um, you know, a lot of people we know are getting like looks now that weren't before. Yeah. You know, like uh, uh, the talent will fill in and then and it'll create new talent and new opportunities. So I, I I welcome the big guys plucking all these guys and they're taking their shots. You know, at that point, oh, you know, absolutely. and if somebody, you know, if a prospect gets a good paycheck for a while, fucking God bless them. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> Especially in this business, right? So anyways, so we'll see how that develops. And, and I'm really curious to see what that I, I think you're going to see much like you've ha- you saw like TNA talent popping up. Or I, you know, you're going to see you're going to see black and brave. You're going to see reality wrestling people pop up and Booker T crying at ringside. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, and putting them over and stuff like that. You know, um, I think it's the first thing you're going to see is a reality wrestling person on Tuesday night on NXT. <laughs> Mo- most likely. <laughs> right. I mean, it just, it just makes so much sense for that kind of stuff there too. Uh, yeah. Cause so, any, yeah. Cause anytime I go down like to, to Houston, I go visit promise. Yeah. Like she'll always, you know, she's always working a show. Yeah, and it's either I'm like I'd rather just be in a crowd, but mm-hmm. she always will f- f- bamboozle me and get me in a ring crew. And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, I don't want to. You're like me. I mean, there's a, there's a certain show in the area where it's like oh, I'm gonna buy a ticket. I don't want to be. I want to be a fan. I don't want to just be in the way. And yeah. and then finally they 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 talked me into helping. I was like, yeah. okay, okay, here we go, here we go. I'm part Wait. of it. Here we go. Well, the cra- uh, yeah, and the crazy part was. I didn't even sign up for ring crew because I was like, <laughs> I'm just here on vacation. I'm just on vacation. I'm just kind of standing there. You no, know, she just walks off. The goes to like her. Locker. Is this is the one time with Booker T you told me about. <laughs> yeah, I'm still mad about that because like I'm just kind of standing there in the lobby. You still like, had your Booker T moment. Man, look, Booker, Booker T cared did about me. Did we tell me. that on the show? I can't remember. If I we don't think we did. Dude, are you are you down with telling on the show? I'm down with telling. All right, hold on. I'll tell you what, real quick. Let's take a quick break here and uh, give a shout out. A lot of stuff going on. Hey, you can see Christian the last couple of weeks on the live streams over at IndieWrestling.us. You were part of both the 880 show, the debut at Penn Brewery, yep, yep. as well as our APWF this past weekend, where you may or may not have upset people at ringside. Uh, <laughs> as you, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it again. I love you. Wait, you you versus people you, at ringside. You versus the gang of kids. <laughs> no. The birthday party. Again, I'm why is there always a birthday party at this show? First of all, <laughs> Yo, those kids are reckless. They called me actually like words that you can't say, <laughs> and like they're like, keep it clean, war. I'm like, right, I'll keep it clean. Kids are calling me the p word and all these obstacles. I'm like, yo, Jesus, like kids. And one kid like pushed me. I'm like, I saw those the push, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and I was like, now? I was like, yo, I should smack the shit out this kid. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't. I gotta work some more heat. <laughs> Man, that's great. Like, I just, like, there were great moments with those kids. It was great, like, when the brother what, kid Brotherhood went out there and Tad went out there and stuff, and they just got enveloped by these, like, kids. It was, like, to me, it was, like, the beginning of Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, where all the fans come up on them and stuff, and that big shot from, I got to do that a couple of times, yep. you know, on a small independent wrestling scale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, you know, I, I definitely, it was a lot of fun to play with on stuff like that. So, oh, Indie Wrestling.us, a lot of fun stuff happening there. Uh, Halloween night, uh, to- um, uh, Thursday night fights is happening this week erica lee and billy dixon are going to be a part of that against dana desire it's going to be part of the tag tournament um tag championship tournament number one contenders uh so keep an eye out for that as well uh, a lot of good stuff happening there and of course all the friends our friends at neo pro they just had a show i'm sure we'll be seeing that on there in the near future in the next couple of weeks uh as well as uh victory championship wrestling uh, the back catalog there and then they're on a little bit of a hiatus now uh but um, we'll be back with them in february with new shows with that they are doing a spot show at the trophy club this weekend so I encourage you to go. It's, it's going to be a good time. Um, but uh, but the only place to see that is probably in person at this point. Uh, and Prospect Pro Wrestling, when they return here in 2025, I know somebody was really kind of 
missing the touch of 2PW today on social media. <laughs> so that was a that was a fun uh, uh, thing to get in my message and to see what Apple AI uh, interprets it and summarizes it as. Uh, so that that was that was entertaining. Of course, our friends at RWA that have been doing some great great stuff. Um, and a chat with my intern today about RWA. <laughs> you know what they think oh, of no. it. Our, our intern in uh, in Tennessee, uh, David, that's oh. been helping us out a little bit. Uh, so with, with some of those clips that have been going up. So it, 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 this is his window into independent professional wrestling. And, and it's been really uh, enlightening for him uh, as well. So anyway, so you were down in, in Texas. You were on vacation. This was several years ago yes. at this point. And uh, I, I remember you telling me this story. Again, this is probably off air. I don't think we did this on here. Um, but, uh, you, so you got roped into ring crew. I got roped into ring crew. So <clears throat> I was down there with promise and I, I'm like, you know, we're going to the show and she's like, you know, they always tell you bring your bag just in case, mm. just if anything. And I was like, I, I didn't want to, cause I was like, this is co like completely out of state. I don't want to overstep a boundary. I don't want to upset anybody, whatever. <clears throat> now she's now promise is like, I'm like, Look, promise I'm not doing ring I'm not here on vacation. I don't want to wrestle. I'm like, da, 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 da. she goes in the back, and I'm like, I'm not going to go in the back. And I'm kind of standing in the lobby, and I decide, okay, I'm going to go walk across the street to this, like, because uh, Booker T at, at that time, I'm not sure. So he has his own, like, protein smoothie thing there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to go there and get another smoothie. Kind of like how Seth Rollins has a coffee shop right next door to his school. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And then, like, Booker T stuff is good. Like, shout out to Booker T and all that stuff. <laughs> it's the it's your stuff your stuff is like really good <clears throat> so we i'm like about to walk out and they're like doing like a roster call for like rain crew I, it was like i'm trainees and people who just volunteer all i just hear is my real name and i'm like huh they're like you're a rain crew and i was like shit they know of me so i'm like i don't know what to do or where to go, or who to report to, and I'm like, I'm, I got Van Vils on the ring crew. And what made it worse was they were doing a show outside. So we had to deconstruct the- We know how we love outside shows around here. Yep, so Row has three rings, and they're all in one building. The training facility is in like the back. Mm -hmm. So you have the show ring in the front, and the two like, training rings in the back. <clears throat> we deconstructed the ring, the show ring brought it outside, set it up, set up barricades, floor stuff, and like some of the trainees were just kind of like lack, like slacking, and I was like putting, I was like tying like the canvas together, and my like, referee was like, I was like, how do you, how do, how do you guys tie it down here? He was like, we tie it like this. I was like, well, a pair of pistols we tied up. We want to do it your way. And the referee was giving me credit for like, hey, well, mm -hmm. cool. Now. It gets worse. You know, the ring's set up outside because we're setting up cage. We took, I don't know, because they have a cage. We took the cage and, like, set up on the outside of the doors. I don't know why we did that. Whatever. We had a ladder. It was dangerous. Now, it's hurricane season. Mm -hmm. So, we had, like, Booker T's, like, like camp and camper out there because it was running production. It starts pouring down raining. I am upset. I'm like, it is pouring down raining. I, it's terrible. <laughs> so they're like, whoa. It was like, well, should we got to move the show inside now? I'm like, yeah, no, you got to move the show inside now. Set the tarp up. And so we deconstruct one of the rings from the back, put it in the front. And now we have to go outside and disconnect all the electric, all the electric stuff. Mm -hmm. Some of the electric stuff is like in puddles of water. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's like, high chance you can get shocked mm -hmm. everyone's just kind of standing there and stuff and i'm me and like only like two people are just like unplugging stuff risking dying <laughs> for booker t anything for you booker t they're unplugging stuff running it inside um getting all electricity all electricity move getting the fans like okay shows inside all that so at this point i'm soaking wet i because a lot of people were just kind of standing inside dry. Mm -hmm. A couple, couple of trainings were like slacking. So I'm upset. Almost got, probably almost got shocked. These, and like, I'm soaking wet. I'm upset. Promise is dry going over her match. Happy not worrying about anything. <laughs> and I'm standing in the lobby just like, I am like so sad. I'm like, I did not come here to do this. Booker T walks past me. He's like, 
hey man, you all right? I was like, yeah. He's like, no man, really, are you okay? And I'm like, man, it's just it's one of those days, Booker, man. He was like, thank you, I appreciate it. And I was like, if you only understood my pain. <laughs> so <clears throat> while the show's going on, we deconstruct the ring, put everything inside, save it for another day, clean up, and then show's over. I'm still soaking wet. I'm upset because Booker Totes is like fill up the crowd. Promise comes up to me with all of her friends. Hey, you enjoy the show? You have fun? I'm like, fuck you, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, I am so mad at you. While you were sitting there going over your match, having a great time for the past like several hours, I have been miserable. But the good part was after I left, apparently. There's a guy down there, Kevin. He does like the booking with like booking mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they were doing a training. They were like during training, and they're, they're like, they're like, um, we noticed a lot of you were fucking slacking, dragging ass, not doing what you're supposed to do. They're like, hey, did you notice there was that one guy with glasses and that? that? There's <laughs> like, you know, he's a wrestler from Pittsburgh. You know, he just came, like, you know, he did not. He just came down here and watched the show. It was like. He was doing more ring crew than you guys were. It's like he's not even from here. And I'm she was promised telling me that I'm like, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you let them know. You let them know. It <laughs> all made me mad. <laughs> but it was cool. Like you saw a lot of people like walking around. There was like this mm. a lot of the talent down there that you see. Yeah. Like um Brian Keith was down there. That was cool to see him. Bounty Hunter. Yep. Nice. Yeah, because he's he's a he's a road kid. Yeah. And yeah. like See him, like Promise, Gigi, um, the mm -hmm. NWA tag champions, um, Danny B and um I forget the her. country guys or no, the girls. The girls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, they're they're down there. Okay, and her, okay. Her partner. And it's like it's also like it was cool to see everybody. And yeah, yeah. With them. But yeah, yeah, that was my time at Bro. I will I would come back. But I don't want to do you, ring you're afraid they're gonna make you do ring crew again. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's why I'm actually afraid to go back. I'm like, I ain't trying to do ring I'm crew. Like, again. like, where's my contract? <laughs> <laughs> Booker T, I'm gonna need a hot twenty in a pre-show match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need featured on your YouTube channel, right? Now. Absolutely. This stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me five. Well, what, I mean, what an experience there, man. I mean, I mean, kind of go to show because I, I I feel like um you know there's good trainers in the area that that um. You know, I, I noticed like, like, you know, I've been really impressed, obviously, when I see Seth Rollins kids on shows, right? Like, I thought, oh, where are you from? I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, black and brave and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, and they, they fucking deliver, right? <laughs> you know, we see the same thing. We see people coming out of preface and stuff from up in the Cleveland and Exodus, you know, but, I, you know, also the same, like, I, if I work, if, if I work a show around one of you guys from a certain school, I can tell. You know, like it was like, oh, you're from this. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, you're from this. That's why you're good at this. You know, you're oh, you're from you're from this school. Oh, that's why you suck. You yeah. know, <laughs> you know, like you, you like it, it. It it comes out. You know, in a lot of cases there. Um. So and and that's really interesting to, to see there. And and you got to see what you know. You got a good comparison compared to Pittsburgh and what what how it runs down there too. Oh yeah, like Booker T runs like like the trainees do not reflect like. I guarantee it was just one of those days the trainings were just slacking. But the train, but you know, other than that, like they run a tight, tight ship down there. Like it is no joke. Like I've never seen someone like take accountability for like everybody. Yep. Like they have yep. a list. Yep. So it, it was it was definitely a cool experience. Yeah, here there's a lot of yelling a lot of times. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of yelling and. A lot, just one trainee thinking that they're better than everybody else and trying to direct traffic. Me, was like, dude. Yeah, we've seen those. We've seen those. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. all seen those. So, um, no, it was, you know, I'm always really fortunate because you know, I you, you know, was set up as like, hey guys, I need some hands, and I got like three guys help me out. Something I usually get more people than I need. <laughs> to be yeah. quite honest. That's so, a good problem. To like, have. It's a good freaking problem to have. It's like, oh man, we only got four corners on this tent, but thank you. It's like actually, no, 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 fifth guy, you can crawl under there and click that <laughs> thing because I don't understand how it works. You know, so like they, something like that, especially these outdoor shows. God, mm -hmm. uh, so no, that's that's really awesome. So. Um, you know, we got to talk about real quick because obviously you were part of the the 880 show, which had one of the coolest backdrops yes. that I think I've ever seen. I was actually trying to we, we we started talking about something else, but I was talking to Lexus 
Uh, I started to talk to Lexus here on Saturday, and 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 um, I'm loving all the pictures coming out of it. And there's a picture of her in her hood with uh, Matt Connard. Yes. And the 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 caption that I felt like nobody was going to understand on Facebook was like, "You guys look like sexy dark lotus." I know you get what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Cause, cause like, I'm just like, I'm just like, it, it's like if if dark if ICP and Twisted worked out, this is what they would look like in dark. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. So, <laughs> oh, without a doubt. And like, dude, the the photos that came from that show were great. Mm-hmm. The backdrop was aw- The backdrop was awesome. And, like, I'll be real, seeing Connor and, like, Lex is kind of next to each other because, like, it, like, both have that spooky vibe. Mm -hmm. It was money. It was perfect. It was perfect. Like you said, that really kind of stuck out for me uh, uh, from that presentation. I'm trying to see if I can find the picture real quick, but, of course, I'm not going to be able to. Um, But (laughs) uh, Yeah, find a picture of my wife. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> um but uh you know it was a lot of fun for that uh you know I, you know i usually dread an outdoor show like that uh but it was the, the payoff was was tremendous for something like that oh so. absolutely i love the entire show was great the locker room was great mm-hmm. you no know, sorg you always do a fantastic job like <laughs> thank you that was a very tough day <laughs> it, it was i, I did was. i did i did yeah i did hear about like all the troubles y'all had to go through mm-hmm. and what happened like I will. I'll cut somebody next time. I'll. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take a lot. What are you doing Thursday night? Because that's the next outdoor show. Yeah, so, sh- um, yeah, <laughs> yes, Dark Lotus. That's a deep cut. That, Tina knows the Dark Lotus. I love it. There, uh, you, go. <laughs> there you go. Um, I got to see the one performance of the original Dark Lotus lineup. Ooh. Yes, the I think is the only time that they got together at that Toledo gathering before Mars took off. Aww. So wait, yes. sorry, wait. Does that mean? So can you can you get Violent J on an 880 show? Can I get it? Happen? No, I, I don't know. Talk to Fasad about that. I was going to say Fasad's the buddy, you know, and Joe Dombrowski wait. now is commentator number one on JCW, you know. So I'm just saying, think about George it. George was on it. I don't know. Jay was just showing up the random Detroit shows for for a bit there. Like he was on. He would just showed up to a combat show. He was on commentary. Now that company's de- deceased. Uh, so I'm sure it was unrelated. It was probably the California show that killed him. If, dude, but, if, if I could have, well, I know this is a dream. If mm-hmm. I could have ABK or Boondocks walk me to the ring. Oh my God. Why, why don't you got to talk to the other record label? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly. It's a dream. That's all yes. it'll ever be. Yes. Oh, you say that like, okay, they stre- they're streaming this tour on YouTube. Chachi messages me because he's been watching JCW and keeping me up on it. Cause I just, I've been trying to catch up. Uh, and now, and now tr- they've moved to Triller this week. Some of the concerts are on pay per view on Triller. ICP concerts or Wild Wild and Bucks or whatever it is are going to be on Triller TV this week. Ooh. That is so weird. <laughs> so, what a time to be alive! <laughs> what a time! I have to pick up the Triller Plus uh, uh, subscription again for this stuff, right? They might have big money wrestlers on it too. You know what? Well, just, can they just drop the entire psychopathic video catalog? On Triller, I mean, I think there's like an opportunity there. Listen, wow, we we, listen. Got, we got to WWE Network already, like the WWE Network style of can we just like throw everything <laughs> in here? We're like, shocked on Saturday night. Listen, Where's Mike that? with Triller and and everybody else that 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 I haven't emailed in a while at Triller. Uh, uh, please just like go all in with the psychopathic record stuff. Like, why the hell not at this point? Okay, like just the, you got other stuff in there. You know, we got soccer and stuff. It's not going to con- like listen. There's money. The Jackalows don't have a lot of money, but it's just enough money for Triller Plus. Okay, just roll with it. Roll with this, and and you're gonna have. You, I'm I'm sure you're gonna do just fine. Uh, at that, is, so. <laughs> that um, is your ad for Triller Plus. Me, yeah, yes. Well, hey, you know we've we've worked with them here and there. They carried our stuff for a bit, and I like, just couldn't do the show anymore. So, um, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's it, it is it is interesting because between that and New Japan's coming back to Triller here next week, I you know uh, they, which means missy's going to new japan next week uh so um which we appreciate around here sure um but yeah so it's it's it it seems like they're kind of on a rebuild right now um you know they're still wrestle revolver gcw doing their thing going back to hammerstein this next year um so i mean hey everything has has a face out everybody started uh, uh the, the people leave triller start their own streaming company it doesn't work out and then they come back because yeah. like they're kind of the ones that have been doing this the longest time and have some support behind them. So just like indie wrestling, you dot us 
You'll come back eventually. <laughs> Actually, nobody's come back. They did, they're on their own at this point. So They don't understand how good they had it. Thank you. We'll not get into that. Uh, <laughs> we, you want to live stream your show that just ended like an hour ago? What's that? Like, <laughs> like, it was like, it was like, I've you, never had to live, edit my live stream of the Wrestling Mayhem show before. I've strongly considered it in the past, but well, so you always, you, so you're the one who like hook people. It was you'll be like the next day you'll have it. You'll be like it just says, "Do not share with the folk, with the, with the public." <laughs> who else is doing it the next day? What? It goes like so. Well, there will be a show Saturday. Yeah, you'll have the entire show just maybe like hard cam film yeah, okay like upload just just and i'm like do for- not share this because yeah. it's not edited <laughs> yeah and like who else is doing that mm. zero people yeah that way, that's why we live edit most stuff even if we're not streaming it at this point it's good so i can be like you know go before i go to bed it's uploading and says look at this link in the morning <laughs> <laughs> Look at this link in the morning. Tell them to buy it this week, please. You know, finds out computer so, had to restart halfway through know, the download. Hey, you know, an entire conversation I've had with somebody is about how, like, I just don't want to post edit the show. You know why I showed up with all my equipment on Saturday? Because if I didn't edit that show, if I didn't do that show, you wouldn't see that show for three weeks. <laughs> if I was not there to do it, and I was like, you want to go live? I might as well go live. You know, and we had a two-person production crew, period, and put that show out. So, Hell yeah. you know, I mean, and I will, you know, that's a two, like, like Riz, I'll shoot that horn Two two person production crew live stream it. looks better than people with four people sometimes on certain platforms. You know, I've been mm-hmm. told that, you know, I've seen that, you know, and, uh, you know, and there's some little things that I wish we could do a little better for Saturday night at APWF. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with it's what fine. we put out there. So, and we'll put the higher quality out because, you know, streams gets chunky, whatever, you know, but, uh, you know, especially when you're in the middle of nowhere like Johnstown, <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, but yeah, yeah, you will, we'll have those matches out here in the, the next couple of weeks and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll look a little bit better and, you know, cool. That's how we do things around here, man. It doesn't make sense, but it's the way it should be fucking done. <laughs> you know, I, I, much like, like, that's not good. I, I, oh God. I have no filter tonight. Um, much like you guys have, like, there's a way to fucking do a wrestling match. I'm like, there's a f- way to fucking do a show. I don't know. And you asked some of these people how to do a wrestling match. They put, they just say the dumbest, they say the dumbest I'm shit. Here, I'm here for the people they're fucking down with, you know, down with the right way to do things at this point. And, and, and everybody that we work with is down with that, you know, so, or at least, at least let us do our thing yep, you would <laughs> and hope. influence how that looks. Yep. And you just hope someone doesn't say something stupid like, Hey man, I'm gonna give you a fucking power bomb in the first thirty seconds of the match. Huh? <laughs> you sure? You know, like, is that too big? Yeah. Dude, that was your Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, okay. Um, anyways, we're here with Christian Noir. We're having fun here. Who knows where we're gonna go from this? Up next, I'm gonna show you the most Indian wrestlingness thing I've ever seen on the internet. Are you ready for this? And also, we want to figure out how we can buy it. We'll be right back after these mm. messages. I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like it discussed from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to A Gay and His Envy on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Christian Noir is here. Tell me great wrestling stories on the break. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell them the truth. Right, yeah, that's what Patreon's for. The stuff you won't get anywhere else. <laughs> Please don't clip it. Uh, the Riz is here as well. You can clip whatever you want. It's the internet. Yeah, the Rizzler. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. That's for Patreon's for your eyes and ears only. Um, Christian, you want to see the most indie riffic thing that I've seen on the internet this week? Is if it, I can pull it up. Do you want to guess what this was? Did you see this going around this week? Is it's it the all, cage? It's the fucking mm-hmm. cage. Also, is it Smoothie Licious? Is that what is that what that was? Uh, Booker T's uh, smoothie? It might company? be. It I'm might be because it's right next. If you turn right off the doors, it's right there in like a little plaza. Oh, I have to look at that. Yes, this is somebody said we have 
the uh, an, uh, indie style. Oh, what God. is quote indie style? First of all, that means not well constructed, unsafe, figured it out. Of, you know, unsafe, all types of fuckers. Was the blue cage, the wooden blue cage in West Virginia? Was that indie style? Perhaps. Oh my God! That yeah, was that's indie it. style. That's like that's the whole reason I shot a promotion because there was a promise of a big blue cage. Yep, that's uh, indie and style. And I shot it, and I I accomplished my goals in life in West Virginia, <laughs> and I'm done. I'm done. Sorry, Wes. You know. The, I love I love VCW to death. VCW's yes. first cage. Oh, cut my back! Oh, yeah, everyone was dying. <laughs> so how about this thing? It is an indie style elimination chamber, asking five thousand dollars. Not going lower, please. Don't ask. Serious inquiries. It's uh, a twenty-four by twenty-four foot cage. They have uh, constructed. Uh, looks like plexiglass uh, of sorts um, um, boxes for the wrestlers. They are, are platforms for outside the ring. Okay. All right. And there's a big fencing that goes around all of said things. It is an open top cage. So I don't know how chamberish, but you do have the mechanism of your, um, yeah, your kind of pods in here, right? Uh, so is this, is this, there's, is there a video of this somewhere? I see a camera. I want to see this in action. Does it have the company logo anywhere? I don't know. Is that, is that in the, on the ring on the left on our left ring? Hold on, what's this? This just looks like no. That's just uh, probably the place. You know, oh no, no on the like the, on the canvas of the left ring. Like, like it looks like an RSW ring, but it can't be. <laughs> um, yet <yeah, laughs> there's nothing. Is there a door? I sure there is. It's somewhere in here, but you know, you can't really can't tell. Um, I say we need to buy it. There's a chair. Yeah. Uh, uh, it cost me nine thousand dollars in parts. Share, share, share. Will only work on a sixteen by sixteen ring. Uh, four pods are surrounded by real plexiglass. Four foot mm. base that surrounds the whole ring. Yeah. So, like, if it's not Lexicon, it's not. A, it's, does, it doesn't work. It's Absolutely. not what Lexa. What? It's not. If it's not Lexicon, if it's not Lexicon, it's not working. That's bulletproof glass it's work. Oh, okay. Is uh, that what they use in the in the elimination chamber? That's what they use for the. That's what they use for the E. So, you know, it, it's obviously the, the strongest thing that never breaks ever. Elimination Chamber was better when it was glass. Yeah, it seriously. Was. <laughs> yeah, it was but, but, you know, because it's the ND, someone's going to be like, bro, I'm going to throw you into it. And be like, oh, dude, I'm, I'm going to throw you into it, and it's going to break. Yeah, I'm adjusting you. Oh, Just point, point it at your mouth, please. Just go, no, 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 put it in your Just mouth. Put it, put it in your Just mouth. Just put it, put it. I want to get notes on this later. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So uh, we're going in on this, right, Christian? We're gonna uh, yes. do this in. Uh, That's what our Patreon money. I for. mean, if it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be VCW, right? Oh, absolutely. Cause, I mean, cause here's my thing. Good luck finding uh, and the companies in the area from Pittsburgh to Ohio <laughs> to West Virginia. Good luck finding a 16 by 16 inch ring that one. One, finding two 16 by 16 rings, and two, having them on the same exact level. No, no, no. It, you just need one. You know, because oh. you, 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 look at this again. Look at this again. Oh, wait, you, that's you two? See, Those are two that's different one different. ring. It's not a war game situation. Oh, I thought it was war yeah, games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I feel like when we did, uh, the one company brought their training ring in when we had the cage, because they needed uh, the hat would like, wrap it around. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, uh, yeah. So I know at least one place that has a 16. Uh, so, um, but uh, no, I think that's. Uh, I would say this. Mm. You have. You just have like a. You put. You get two companies, right? Mm -hmm. Have a kind of a war. Have like a war games kind mm -hmm. of night, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Final matches in there. Wait, there's four pods, right? Yeah. You, you, you would do four pods and then two people start in the ring. So you'd have six people in the match typically. Yup. And. Boom, boom, boom. Night, night as the match goes on, one more person, one more person, you know, heal, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody's in, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's in, match goes, boom. Because at that point, there's no rules, right? Because mm -hmm. now, like, can officially pin. One half of the roster. You're, you're still thinking war games. <laughs> Shut up. Let me, let me, let okay. me cook. Okay. Let me cook here. Let okay. me cook. Okay. So, Make your own rules. <laughs> listen. So City we're, wrestling. Fuck it. Fuck it. Bro. Then one roster comes down. Like they're going to be like, yeah, we're going to make an unfair advantage. The other roster comes down, right? Boom, boom, boom. Both rosters are fighting outside of the cage. Two got, two, everyone gets outside of the cage. Except for two people who took, two, two, uh, who took bumps. 
all the guys fall off the cage onto everybody. Everyone's down. Two last guys in the cage finish the match. I'm saying. I'm not saying let me book this, but look, let me cook here. But okay. <laughs> we just need one company who's brave enough to drop five grand and <laughs> haggle this bastard down. I'm not going any lower. Yeah, you are. You said you built this for nine grand and you dropped it five grand. Oh, you'll go lower to get rid of it. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Who do you think you are, loser? Anyway, you're, we'll buy this from you for like three grand. You'll take it on the chin and be happy and ask for more. And then we'll go. Oh, do no, 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 no. We'll, we'll give you three grand and we'll book you on the show. Oh, absolutely. That's how, you, that's yeah, how business is done, right? Oh, without a doubt. You'll get booked. Um, you'll get no you get hot thrown dog. off the cage. It's fine. Yeah. No hot dog. No handshake. Um, <laughs> be happy you were here, you bastard. Hopefully and, it's one of those shows with pizza in the back. Oh, without a doubt. You know you need Beast Man in the match. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, know what you do? <laughs> you have Beast Man cannonball somebody into the plexiglass. <laughs> I'm not taking that bump, though. Fuck like that. I'm not doing it. That's why you're booking it. Oh, absolutely. It so you don't take the shit. Absolutely. Hey, where's Joe Murphy at? I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, remember how you said Beast Man like, broke your leg even though he really didn't? Sick. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> do it all over again. And that has been your booking moment from the Wrestling Video Show. Um, Facade, jump off the top of a pod. Yep. Well, that's an easy one for him. Oh, well, I thought without a doubt. That's an easy one for him. Come on. Between uh, him and uh, Brandon St. James is now the next, like, by the way, Brandon St. James is the next Facade. Oh, without have you doubt. noticed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just, and who's, the, who's the bulkiest guy in the area? The bulkiest guy? Bulkiest? Like, Collier, right? Uh, yeah, I guess Collier. Collier. Like, like, yeah, we need Collier to do the Bobby Lashley thing where he dives out the cage and takes and the cage, break, takes the cage down. Yeah, Collier strong I mean, to do it. That wouldn't. That would probably not take a lot of we effort to do. Yeah, that. we probably don't need to like rig anything for that. You know, <laughs> hey, Collier, hit this full Just, full speed. I mean, I mean, we did almost have an incident with a fan a couple months ago with with our one mm -hmm. show. Well, you almost killed a fan. Oh no no no. They, we, well, I, they're definitely uh, when they were taking the cage apart at one of the shows, the the, the cage kind of went. Um, and, uh, thankfully there were known people, you know, um, but, uh, you know, it happens, it happens, you know, it gets away from you, you know, that's why I say, don't put the fans so close to the ring guys. I was like, whatever the end time was like, okay, is that where the fan first row goes? Give me five more feet. <laughs> that's always my recommendation. If anybody asks me, give me five more feet. Oh, Yo, you already that? Give me five more feet. <laughs> Dude, that kills me when I see, when I see them, there's like only like, um, from the cage to like the rail, yeah, where there's like a narrow space, and like people want to do dives. I'm like, mm -hmm. dude, let's mm -hmm. not do a dive on this. Side. Let's do one. Let's do a dive mm -hmm. on the entrance ramp side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. people will get too excited, and they're like, yeah, I'll do it. And then it's either that, and then you're like either hitting the barricade, sending yourself back, you overshoot, or you hit the person. Like you can see it so Ooh. much in like Sam and AAA. Yeah, they'll hit yeah. the thing and they'll flip over the barricade and hit like hit a fan. And I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, that gets scary with the barricade. Like like, Even like, without a barricade, that gets scary. Yeah. Like, I've seen it where it's like the guy goes outside. Seconds later, the, the other guy jumps over the top. And it's like you're about to kill somebody, dude. There's this lucha fight. Don't. That's it was like Aramis, Black Taurus, and like I don't know if it was a Vikingo match or not. Uh, it was a Talia Hall in Chicago for Warrior, and they probably have it up. But I just felt like they were just diving like the crowd was not that far away and no barricades and they just felt i just felt like they were trying to all murder the front row the way they just kept just sailing into it and uh, tore black or mortis i guess he is now right mm -hmm. or B beast mortis or whatever he's called now um like it's not a small guy <laughs> you, know? Huge. you know he's he's got some bulk to him and he's just like plowing into this front row and they're all lo standing up and loving it and thumbs upping it but it's just like you guys like caught the entire match here you know oh yeah it's crazy like i remember i did that with uh when i when i recently wrestled lee we were uh <clears throat> so the spot was i was gonna lee was gonna do a dive on me and uh i was gonna pull pagasa into the way last second so i don't have to take the dive I told Lee, let me get towards entrance ramp side. Uh -huh. So I'm here and I started walking. I get on the I'm halfway. Lee just starts. I'm like, no. And I kind of look up out the corner of my eye. He already, he's already hit the ropes. And I'm like, dude, there is not enough 
face. Take this shit back to AEW, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes, and I'm like, le- legit last second, because he came so fast, I pulled Pagasa in, and you just heard this thud. You thought, everyone thought Pagasa smacked her head off the back of the floor. Mm. And Lee's like, oh, 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 I'm like, I'm not sure if he's selling it or he's actually concerned. I'm like, you know what? Told you to come in like a, I told you to wait for me to get over there. <laughs> it was like, it was like, take me, take this shit back to AEW. This is not how we do things mm-hmm, on this mm-hmm, level. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, hey, other good news from friends of the show this week. I, I saw this article being uh, passed around on Monday too. Uh, Joe Dombrowski uh, featured on Out Sports uh, for uh, having his sign his multi year extension with Major League Wrestling. So, uh, as I like to say, internationally known, Joe Dabrowski. Congratulations, Dabrowski. Proud of you, man. There you go. Um, and, and I didn't realize, like, I don't know, just context or just I, I know the guy, so I'm really kind of, like, blind to it. But uh, the only um, out commentator, lead commentator on a, on a national company. Oh, really? So... So Joe Dombrowski breaking barriers. Gotta give shout outs for him. We uh, we were supposed to have him on actually a few weeks ago and uh well actually he got on the Juggalo tour. <laughs> so Aww. of all things, uh he was supposed to be on with us last week. Uh so we're gonna have to get him on here in the near future uh and catch up with the the new big news and everything too. And of course, still a um uh announcer for the English feed on AAA still. So hey. go go. So props to Joe for that. Uh, hell, um, hell yeah, Joe Dombrowski. Um, let's give a quick shout out and then we'll get to what we learned this week. Our good friend slice on Broadway. Did you grab it? Yeah. You grab a slice before the show, right? Dude, uh, I would take a life for slice on Broadway. <laughs> okay. That's an ad. I mean, they'll put that to a nice jingle on the whole music too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a lot. No, no, no. Uh, New York city stallions are made our friends in the Pittsburgh area up the tracks is the OG, the original been supporting us for well over a decade with, uh, the perfect pepperoni pizza for Pittsburgh podcasting. Thank you so much to those guys for supporting the show. Please. If you are in the Pittsburgh area, they got multiple locations more than what's on the graphic. If you're with us on the video version of this, um, but, uh, uh definitely support them because they've been supporting us for a while. Uh, thank you so much to slice on broadway let's find out chat room what did you learn from wrestling this week riz do you have one i don't have one yet i'm thinking you still work on christian do you still work you've learned recently in wrestling Hmm. i've learned other than make sure lee goes to the ramp side yeah lee you bastard (laughs) go dye your hair green loser (laughs) but i learned most people deserve a second chance. Most, not all. Most, okay. Yeah, because <clears throat> if you talk to some people around the area, sometimes they needed a second chance. Sometimes they came off on the wrong foot or yeah. with a certain attitude, and someone gave them a second chance, and you know, everything has turned around. Like recently, I've had it. I had an opinion about a wrestler, and I'm like, oh man, good man, this, you can't stand this guy. Like he's, ugh, he's a gets on my nerves yeah yeah but as time was going on and i worked a match with this person i was like oh maybe i have this guy all wrong but mm-hmm. parson is comp he's competent mm-hmm. so i learned like you know what maybe i was too ju- hard I, I i gave him the second chance of judgment i was like okay i, I may i had this person wrong and they grew, maybe they grew as a person, whatever. And also, probably like, people were probably giving me a second chance. Like, I know sometimes I could come off as brash, crazy, loud, uncontrollable, unhinged. And probably some people already have opinions on me about that. But honestly, when people, the people who probably don't think too high of me, then they give a second chance on me and see that, you know, I can be reliable, you know, funny, I can be. You know, um, a likable person. I mean, granted, I'm not here for everyone to like me. I know that's not going to be a thing. But for the people who took an initial chance and a second chance on me, and I've proved, like, hey, I can't be that good guy for you. Or I'm not so bad after all. Absolutely. I think that's important, especially at, at this phase, in this level, and everything, right? Because everybody's developing, yes. you know, in, in wrestling. Uh, evolving, you know, you know, we talk about like people kind of clicking into into place in their their presentation and and how they deal with things backstage, mm-hmm. you know, 
I mean, like it's it's you know you kind of need that. I mean, it's it's a tough it's a it's a tough spot to be to begin with, mm. and not everybody gets it right away or has the right attitude, right? Yeah. So awesome. Same. Second chances for most people. Mm-hmm. So there's certain people who just do some do some shit where you're just like, okay, I can't give you another chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you can run out of chances, and maybe they'll come around further down the line, but you gotta like let them go. Let them walk a path for a while, you know, and you never know. You never know. So, yeah, you'd be surprised who comes around on shit. Um, from the chat room, we got a lot of stuff going on. Wow, a lot of people popping up here. Uh, Ponder, you're going to make me say this one. All right. Say it. All right. Say uh, it. Ponder, say it slowly. I learned Sean has a massive binder of women in NXT right now. I don't, that doesn't feel good. That does not feel good. Um, so. There's a lot of women. Something about like a 10 women tag or something like that yeah. next week that you were saying in the chat room earlier. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel some type of way about the NXT women. Like, I don't mean to sound shitty about the NXT women. You know, who am I? But I feel like a lot of women in NXT nowadays don't really have gimmicks or characters. They don't stick out. Like, no. Like, I'm not trying to sound odd, but like, all it is is look at my ass. Yeah. Look at me shake my mm-hmm. ass. Yeah. Who are you? What's your character? What can you bring to ring? Mm-hmm. Okay, you can shake your ass. Okay, all of you shake your ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why should I care? Yeah. That's just me. It does feel like a, like a little eye candy-ish uh, there right now, doesn't it? So, like, a lot of life. I mean, I, until you get to, like, the Stephanie, uh, Vicor, and uh, uh, Julia, is were just amazing. Um, so, uh, absolutely. But 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 there's, at least there's a, there are a lot of women getting opportunities. Yes, and, and that's good. They have to work even harder to stick out, right? Exactly. Even those that were sticking out, I feel like have retracted a little bit you know what i mean mm-hmm. um like kiani jordan was somebody that i thought was incredible but like the last couple of matches i don't know if it's who she's paired up against but it just hasn't really stuck for me you know but yeah, like and, I, like personally i've lost interest in wendy woo like yeah i don't like this turn she did like yeah yeah so they had like, a casket match tonight maybe it was good <laughs> I, I was hearing some things seeing some things in the chat room about it but yeah. like yeah. you know like i like you know me i'm very big on on character mm-hmm. like <clears throat> look at you Hey, it's me. You are? <laughs> I couldn't tell with your yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I thought you were. I thought you were a work rate guy. <laughs> <laughs> like when she when they were doing that like um that uh one faction where she, she had like the black robes all over her. Yeah. That was fucking sick. They had the one dude that's like the translator. That was money. Then she went to the little nighttime thing. Look, I didn't like it personally. I, I tried to give it a chance. I didn't like it, but now they want she wanted to do like a dark character. I hate, I cannot stand when people do dark characters. Hear me out. Because, like, what all? What else you do? Line here, line here, line here. What makes you dark? What makes you have to go to a dark place? Mm-hmm. What, just because you lose a few matches, you have to become evil? Like, what drives you to be a dark place? And then you have, like, a actual, like, say, a actual character like me on the show, who's, like, in kayfabe, who, who's lived this life his entire existence mm-hmm. and just because you had a few bad matches now you're like now you're like you're like can't like how can you as a character come to me but like i know what's evil and meanwhile it's like an actual evil person doesn't carry himself like that mm-hmm. like a real crazy person a crazy person will never admit that they're crazy a real crazy unless person. your name is crazy steve exactly crazy <laughs> steve is fucking insane. <laughs> he just embraces it but you get where i'm yeah, saying yeah 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 so <laughs> he didn't give himself that name. Let's put it that way. And he can't even spell it right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> referee Rosie Jones is in the chat and uh, has something. This week I learned that. Let me get this a little closer. I'm getting old. Uh, I learned that there is no way you can go forward if you're constantly looking to the side. Uh, you you are you and your timing is your own. My time will come. I, I goes along with a lot of what you were talking about with second chances and, and people clicking and things like that, right? Absolutely. So mm-hmm. some people get it right out of the gate. Some people need it, uh, six years to figure it out. Yeah, so you're, you're right on the nose, Rosie. Right on the nose. There you go. There you go. Good, good, good uh, vibe going mm-hmm. out there. Uh, Battle of outside baddies versus performance center hotties. Ooh. Can't wait to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to take a nap on that one wait uh, when the match is over there you go there you go uh <laughs> tina from seattle learn what i learned ethan and trick outdid yep. taker hbk in good versus evil and just sending positive vibes and thoughts to elp chris bay and vikingo 
uh, Vikingo and uh, Chris Babel, who I believe had injuries at TNA's tapings this past weekend. Uh, and coincidentally, Chris was a neck injury, I believe, that got scary. Uh, ELP, I did not see what happened. I didn't know if that was related to TNA or, or some other show. I know he's part of Maple Leaf, Leaf last week. So, but there was a statement that I think he's out indefinitely. I think New Japan mm-hmm. put that out there. Uh, so that's 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 rough. Uh, Riz, I I learned that along the same vibes as Tina's uh, trick and uh, Ethan uh, story. I learned that every promo is better with Reverend Devon in it. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, so they had a rap battle. Like they they sent out videos for it to promote their match, both Ethan and uh, Trick. And yeah, Trick Williams uh, brought out Reverend Devon. Holy shit! Chat, bring up the videos. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it, it's yep. Wow. Uh, so I know, uh, to bring, not to bring it down, just to correct. Uh, Tina, Tina's pointing out the ELP. It's actually a form of cancer. So, uh, best luck to ELP, uh, one of our favorites here, hoping that uh, he uh, uh, speedy recovery uh, with that. Yes. He'll get well. Yes. Um, threw me off. Ethan and Trick had a diss tracks in, in their mm-hmm. feud as well. <laughs> so, uh, I did not get a chance to watch any of those, but I kept hearing It's them. They're good? Yeah, they're good. Good, good. Glad to see. Absolutely. Good to see. Um... Where was I with things? <laughs> so, uh, what did I learn from? I, I learned, you know, you've had a good wrestling night if you're uh, outside yelling whoop whoop to people passing by in the middle of Johnstown. Oh, absolutely. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to, st- I had to stop my car and let, I had to let Sword know. <laughs> yes, with Halls of Evolution. Also, if you bash on Halls of Evolution, you're a horrible person. Absolutely. <laughs> this, this goes out to you, my girlfriend. You know who you are. <laughs> Lexus sin. She, we were we were riding up to we were riding up to APWF, and like Hall of Losers came on, and she was like, mm. "I was like, man, you're you're working with your way to be single real fast." <laughs> <laughs> and I love they had to ask me about it. And like, hey, isn't this terrible? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, we're sore guys, so I could come ruin his day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She she likes all of the shit. And then I'm like going on the juggalo floor with her. I'm like, babe, you got to understand the mighty six jokers card. <laughs> I got to explain to you everything. Okay. She, she brought up night of the chainsaw. So uh, she re- definitely redeemed. Yeah. Knit and sword. It came up on my list today too. It did. It actually did. Just randomly. It was like the second song after one of my twisteds. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. See, so this is why you invited to the wedding, sword. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that looks like. Um, no, no wrestlers, though. No wrestlers. No, 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 no. Uh, no, what I learned, hey, I, I, I'm really enjoying, actually, I, you know, seeing APWF in person at the new facility. Uh, I, I couldn't be there last time because I think we I think we were doing a Cleveland show or something at the time. Uh, love the, loving the vibe there in Johnstown. Um, loving that crowd there, and uh, definitely worthwhile uh, going out there. If you, I think they're coming back in uh, February or March, I think if I'm not mistaken. March, uh, so yes. so I don't have to go to Johnstown that often, which I appreciate. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, but no, Bubba's doing a good thing there. Um, you know, kind of uh, relearning the ropes of what wrestling is right now, as far as putting a show together. Uh, you know, with social media and things like that. You know, I appreciate um because I see this in Erie a lot too. Uh, obviously we've been seeing this with uh, you know, I feel like Enjoy and 880 you're really good about this in the Pittsburgh area. Like whenever I see uh, 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 wrestling represented and promoted on local TV is <laughs> appreciated. And I think he said he was on a couple of things out there uh, in the Johnstown area, you know. So uh, I would that, but that's what works out there, you know, especially if you get away from the city and you're in these smaller towns, if you're in the areas of Johnstown and things like that. So it's not just about, you know, I, I keep seeing and I, I don't know what's happening, you know, maybe locally there's a lot of flaring going on, but I'll see something like in the middle of nowhere, or Ohio or something. And I was like, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know what they're doing other than just putting it on Facebook. And I don't think that works for everybody. You know, there's a, there's a big discussion about West Virginia markets. Like, no, you got a flyer. You know, yeah. these people aren't looking at the Facebook events. You know, it makes a lot of sense. And I also enjoy, I also think my favorite thing on Monday Night Raw, because I just realized it's in the other tab that just came up, is the Karrion Cross Miz angle. 
Um, mm-hmm. There's a video that came up recently Buddy. after Raw last night where uh, where you you saw that uh, Miz was uh, kidnapped and and Scarlett's like, hey, I think we should go help him. And Cross is like, yeah, he's probably dead. Yeah, just give, just, <laughs> yeah. I mean, give up. I mean, that's that is probably the most real thing ever, though. Mm-hmm. It's like, OK, I give up on him. All right. Already. Just think about it. If you were in that situation and someone told you, like, hey, Christian Noir just dragged Riz into a into a into a manhole, would you go to save Riz or would you just let it go? Uh, yeah, he's probably dead already. Yeah, I'm dead. You just, uh, I'm 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 he's dead. Dead or, dead or wants to be by now, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, just uh, you know. <laughs> exactly. It's like I'm afraid to know what else is happening to my body. <laughs> exactly. So I don't blame Carrie across of that. It's like. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm not going. Man, man fuck that. <laughs> I'm still alive. I love it. Like I even, I love the one like after. Uh, uh, um, uh, oh God, who's the who's their manager? Why does that escape me? Um, Ellering. After Ellering got taken out by by the Y Six last week. Yeah, like there's a post promo they posted. Um, it was a lot. Of, it feels like there's a lot more going on social media now. We're down to two hours of raw. By the way. Um, like where Miss is like, I'm trying to get out of here, and then like, Cross is like, I just lost a my guy just just took a bullet for you. You're not going anywhere. Like I love this like boss Cross kind of situation going on right now. Yeah. It is the most like uh he's 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 in this good spot. Also slightly cha- channeling his Jesse Ventura impression. I feel in vibe. Uh, so oh, it's good. Like it's good. Like Cross is in a good spot right now. Yeah, I'll be real. Cross took. I mean, I loved Karrion Cross when I first met him through mm-hmm. Lucha Underground. Mm-hmm. Like I, when he came back, like at first I was like, dude, they have like they have like two managers. Like there's too much going on with this group. Mm-hmm. But now that they're kind of like thinning it out a bit, mm-hmm. it's good. Mm-hmm. it's good mm-hmm. again. It, again it's kind of like taking that form and being more than just this thing that's happening over here right like yeah. i don't even know why paul ring's been there you know he's been like oh cool we got paul but it's like but what what's he doing right yeah, he's wearing like white boots on glasses i'm like okay you're the manager who's having a little bit too much mm-hmm. fun mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's kind of like why is jake roberts with roosh and in uh L- lij you know it, yeah. you know it, it's just like i don't i don't know i don't know what he serves here does he know spanish I don't know at this point. Yeah, like, you know, he made a lot of sense with Lance. You know, yeah. But, anyways, Dexter just choked out Biz says Xavier and Kofi are arguing. Yes, uh, yes. Also, this slow, just like old times. <laughs> this slow Xavier Woods like crawl into bad guyness is great. And I just, okay. Yes, I want to. I, I want to point out something. I want to ask you, what if it's a, what if it's a swerve? Which part? What if it's Kofi? <laughs> Kofi's the one that goes. Kofi's the one that turns. I'm set. I'm setting my so. firstborn on fire. If that happens, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kofi, Kofi cannot be the bad guy. Come on, <laughs> get, get that nuclear fire. heat. Because here's the thing: if you think about it from a common sense point of view, mm. Xavier Woods is right. There's nothing wrong with how Woods approaches. No, this. yeah, no, nothing no, wrong no, with him. Absolutely, absolutely. And then Kofi's is like the kind of the. Too much optimistic friend. Yep. And yep. you're just like, if you really think, maybe nah, like, man, we can do it again. And then the meanwhile, like Xavier's there being like, I'm the only one without a singles championship. Yeah. yeah. And you understand where it's kind of, it kind of gets them a bit. Hey, yeah, all yeah, my yeah. boys were champions. Yeah. Now you want to go out here and put us in danger. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's think. I mean, I understand for wrestling, you have to suspend disbelief and we have to have to be, we have to be stupid. Let me run down to the ring as this dude's getting jumped by like 12 people. Let me get in there and get my ass kicked mm-hmm, too. No. Mm-hmm. Xavier's using common sense, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and if he's now the bad guy for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he didn't really do anything. I mean, and got that boo like when he popped in the ring in that three way last night. I was like, all right, this is being played really well. The crowd yeah. is noticing enough of it, and and like like and the crowd is going to turn him the rest of the way. Yeah, because remember when he boy he pay, he pinned Rey Mysterio and took his mask off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, it's a lot of fun what they're doing with that. Yeah, I mean, so. what do you want to do mid match? Oh my bad. Let me put this back on your face. Small package, I lose. Yep. Yep. No. Nah. Um, Christian Noir, always fun. Thank you for having me. Thank you, uh, everyone, for putting up with me all these years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're still, of course, with Rise Wrestling down there in the Uniontown area. That I am. I, I believe am. you have a big marquee matches with one uh, uh, new ugly. Yes, I'm Edric Everhart. Yep, I'm coming up wrestling Edric Everhart for 
number one contender spot mm-hmm. to Russell Donovan Dijak. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I got my homegirl Pagasa by my side mm-hmm. supporting me. Good. Hopefully I will not pull her into any more dives outside the ring. Pagasa, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, there you go. Well, I, and, of course, final up, Hand of Nubis, I believe. Well, there's... there's Karen Cross again uh, <laughs> on the social medias and stuff, and yep. uh, and, and and follow on the TikToks for the Swall Mandalorian. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> I will be soon starting my OnlyFans and uh, spreading cheeks for money. Well, there we go, there we go. The Riz will be not doing any of that stuff for Riz no. plays games. He'll be spreading his Riz will be spreading the front cheeks. There you yeah. go. Uh huh. Uh huh. There you are. Uh huh. Um, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you are. And what am I doing? Oh, we would not be here physically live the next two weeks, but Riz and I have a project that we're uh, actually intending to hopefully record directly after this. Uh, so you will be not without our wonderful voices and faces over the next two weeks. Um, so uh, if you want to follow me at Sorgatron to see where I'm traveling to, uh, hint, it's warmer. Uh, so, uh, and we will, I'm going to be going down South for work and play for two separate trips. Uh, so you can follow me on my social medias at Sorgatron everywhere for what's happening there. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, again, uh, Thursday night fights this week is a Halloween special. It's going to be out. It's going to be out at Aaron Woods's place. Uh, the wonderful uh, videographer that's been God making, making that stuff look amazing on Thursday nights, uh, on his feed. So, um, excited to see what's going to happen there. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Billy Dixon and uh, Erica Lee against the Den of Desire for uh, a part of the number one contender tag championship tournament. Uh, the winner will face Mikey Montgomery and Keith Hot, who won this past week. So uh, so much more is going to be happening that night. So stay tuned for that on the New Wrestling US uh, Network. Thank you everybody for joining us. We'll see you guys next time, uh, whenever that may be. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.